Only 14% of women in America like the way their bodies look. According to Self Magazine, 85% of the women surveyed believe they should be more body positive towards themselves. So not only do women dislike the way they look, they hate themselves for feeling that way. According to DoSomething.org, 70% of high school teenagers believe they are not good enough when it comes to their appearance. This leads to many girls going to school feeling self-conscious and unworthy. And this can go on for weeks, even months. It's almost like every day is the same, the repeat of being among people who don't really know how a person feels. The constant thought of not liking what we see in the mirror. It probably doesn't help that social media has a wide variety of Photoshop models looking beautiful. Except, I don't always remember that they're Photoshopped. As if this seemingly effortless perfection is something attainable to everyone but me. The people at my school who look so much better than I do. And I don't always remember that bodies are built differently. And when it comes to lunchtime, I notice that what I'm eating is not the same as the salad belonging to the girl who is worried about getting fat. And I think maybe I shouldn't eat at all. And if I'm being honest, school is stressful too. With the amount of workload that is given and the amount that I don't understand, it is hard to fit everything of a perfect lifestyle into mine. It doesn't help when I'm constantly pressured by someone who doesn't understand that I'm already criticizing myself enough for everything I do, as if the negative way I feel towards myself isn't already unhealthy, the constant thought of myself not being good enough. And I know for her, she feels the same way about me. And if I don't have the time to exercise, and I don't look as beautiful as the people around me, Maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe I need to change what I'm doing. Because there has to be something I can change. There has to be a reason why I don't look the same. I can change something so I can be happy. Right? Clothes are a way someone can express themselves. And I always see people at school looking amazing in what they wear, flaunting what they got, and strutting down the halls with nothing but confidence. I guess there's a reason for that. I guess it's the reason why I don't. It's the number. I'm never happy with the number. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the number. I don't like what I see in the mirror, the way my stomach isn't flat and my arms aren't slim. And I wish this could be a once in a while type of thought, but it isn't. These images showing me of what I can't be, and telling me that I'll be satisfied with myself if I just eat differently, as if this is only dealing with physical aspects instead of mental, and another text from my mom with invisible ink saying, I am not good enough, I am not good enough. Maybe I can be good enough. But I guess, even then, I'm not brave enough to be good, to look good. I go back to school the way I always do, the same walking and sitting and, and thinking with no one caring, and why would they? I don't blame them. We all have our own problems, I don't expect anyone to concern themselves about me. People have their own friends, I get it. But then, a person reaches out, and I cannot begin to explain how much that means to me. Kind and caring people who spend their time being positive. And I learned that beauty can come in different sizes, shapes, and colors. There is no definite definition or image of something that is subjective. I 
No, I'm not going to love my body in a day, but I'm learning in steps. I know that talking with others will make me happier and working on my mental health will overall impact the way I view my body. I don't have to try to fit into clothes that are too small for me just because other people are wearing them. I can be unique, my own person. I don't have to be so focused on looking like everyone else. I'm seeing a change in the way I have always spent my days and how I come to school. And not only am I learning to love myself, I want to spread that love and positivity so others can love themselves too.